The silence of the bees is deafening. Beekeepers across Texas, like Todd Youngblood of Parasol, have lost a significant amount of their hives due to colony collapse disorder. This fourth generation honey producer first heard of CCD early last year, and it wasn't long before he felt the sting of this mysterious affliction. We pull up into a yard and <clears throat> to feed it or medicate it for some reason or another, and uh, you start taking the lids off of some of these hives and there's not any bees in the box. And we were out from August of 2007, and that's when we started noticing, you know, a large percentage of the colonies didn't have any bees in them. Since August of 2007 through, say, March of 2008, we lost approximately 50% of our operation. Normally, the worker bees will fly in and out of the hive to forage blooms on flowers. But when CCD strikes, the bees leave the hive and never return. And so over a course of maybe a couple of weeks, uh, you know, 10 days to two weeks, all the bees have left the hive and they, they've never returned back to the colony. So when you take the top off of these hives, and I say all the bees, you'll pull that top off and there'll be a small cluster in there, maybe of 100, 200 bees with a queen, but it's so small that they can't sustain themselves. The theory is, is that they're dying out in the field or out in the pasture somewhere and you don't see them in front of the colonies like a pesticide kill or something like that. There's no real definition of CCD and no real cause has been discovered. Nobody really knows for sure. All this stuff is speculation as to what it is, uh, you know, anywhere from, from pesticides to genetically modified crops to you name it. This reduction in worker bees not only affects honey production, but has a tremendous impact away from the hive. Between honey seasons, beekeepers like Youngblood rent their colonies to other farmers in order to pollinate crops such as nuts, fruits, and vegetables, some as far away as California. I load my bees right here in Frio County on the back of an 18-wheeler and ship them out to another beekeeper in California. He unloads them, distributes them to the orchard, and uh, where they, they're left there for about six weeks, six to eight weeks. He loads them on the trailer and ships them back to me. If you have the bees, then your crop is going to be bigger. You're going to have a more uniform crop. Without it, you, you know, some plants may not have a, a fruit on them, uh, may be deformed. The USDA Agricultural Research Service estimates one in every three mouthfuls of food directly or indirectly benefits from honeybee pollination. For this Frio County beekeeper, colony collapse disorder poses a serious threat to his livelihood. He gathers and processes wahia honey, known for its light color and delicious flavor. But his honey crop this year is half of what it usually is. With so much mystery surrounding this unknown phenomenon, it's hard to know how to battle CCD. But young blood's not giving up. He says honey is in his blood. We just take it one year at a time. We'll rebuild our colonies, you know, and um, hopefully it'll be a one-time phenomenal deal that we don't have to deal with again. We're not quitters. We're going we're gonna to stick it out. For Voices of Agriculture, I'm Ed Wolf in Parasol.